Okay, this test here was suggested by Luke. Um, we're looking at his mostly magnet motor setup and the comparison in torque or pull force from his setup as to a standard little electric motor here, the same as we used in the last video. So we'll run through the test amp meter, volt meter, and of course our set of scales, which is set to the kilogram uh, scale. So we're going to lift the voltage up from the power supply until such time as there is enough power being sent to the motor to achieve a 250 gram pull force on the outer edge of the rotor. Which, um, and we're doing it that way so as we keep in line with Luke's setup. So what he has would be the same of us measuring the torque on the outer edge of the rotor or the pull force. Now once again that screw that is hooked to the scales on this little pulley here is at the same outer diameter as the outer edge of the rotor. So what the scales are going to tell us is the torque on the outer perimeter of the rotor. Alright, so we'll turn our power supply on. We have 0.659 volts at 1.5 amps to achieve 180 grams of pull force or torque on that rotor. So I'm going to just lift the voltage up by 0.1 of a volt at a time and until such time as we get to 250, 235. I can get it finer than that because I can go down 2.01 at a volt at a time on my power supply. Here we go. Oh. Let me drop it down 0.01 of a volt. And then we have our 250. So it's 0.88 volts across that motor at 2 amps 2.02 once again 0.886 to 888 volts and that just turned off 2.026 around about amps so we can calculate our watts in from there for our 250 grams so now we're going to try and lift it up to 500 grams of pull force and see if we don't get any smoke. So I've got up to oh, I've actually achieved that quite easily really. Drop that down, there we go. So we now have 1.459 volts, 3.18 and it will drop down as the motor heats up because as the coils get hotter inside the motor the resistance in those coils increases 3.1 and it's just going to keep dropping along with our pull force so we'll have to go with the uh, instantaneous shot from the camera because the motor is getting hot as we know it would be to a little motor and um, from those measurements we can work out, I'll just hit the power again and see what happens. And I'll lift the voltage up a little bit. Yeah, I think the uh, motor is quite warm now. Yeah. Turn that off because she's just um, getting hotter and hotter. Yeah. So um, <clears throat> anyway, we can get our readings from the uh, instant I lifted it up to the 500 grams, half a kilo. Quite surprised that motor even had that sort of torque on it. And um, we 
can take our measurements from there. Thanks guys.